And welcome to the COMC Camdenton Lakers Coaches Show. We'll be talking with the head coach, Jeff Shore, momentarily. Brought to you by the great folks at Central Ozarks Medical Center. Hy-Vee Osage Beach, that's Hy-Vee Lake of the Ozarks, and Poly Lift Boat Lifts. Okay, we're headed into week 10 of the high school yep. football season. That means playoff times, yep. man. We are here on the COMC Camdenton Lakers Coaches Show with the big guy, head coach Jeff Shore. And uh, so coach, the regular season is done. Uh, not the funnest regular season of your coaching career, <laughs> I'm guessing, right? I mean, uh, had some ups and some downs, had some great weeks and some tough weeks. It's been the, the roller coaster ride of uh, 2020, I guess you'd yeah. say. But uh, anytime you get to play, you know, obviously we're disappointed in a record right now, but anytime you get to play and get to spend time with a, a great bunch of guys and, and coaches and be a part of this program is a good thing. You know, obviously we want to do a little bit better, but fortunately we've got uh, another game to hopefully get that going. Yeah, hopefully a couple more yeah, games. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, you go up to Rolla last week. You, you were coming off a nice big win over Glendale. Right. Right. and. Things were looking up, the break seemed to be going your way, and then uh, things just didn't go your way. Yeah, it was just that we had, had a bad game, you know. I mean, there's no other way to say it, you yeah. know. Sometimes that happens, and uh, we did. We picked a bad night to have a bad game. So um, both sides of the ball, we shouldn't play well. Uh, you know, many different factors in it, but, you know, I think you can sum it up by saying we just didn't play well. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a surprise to me. We had a really great week of practice coming off, I felt like, one of our best football games of the year on both sides of the football and then had probably one of our worst games here on both sides of the football. So, um, you know, hopefully we can bury that and uh, get on to the, the next one because if we don't, it'll be, you know, it'll be over. So, yeah. um, you know, our goal right now, like I said, is to get over that one, bury it, uh, move on and uh, get a little bit of confidence back with us and a little, you know, a little pop in our step and try to get out there and uh, get a win. It, are, are there any scenarios when you come off a game like that where uh, good comes out of that, you know, where you can go back to the kids and re-motivate them or they get re-motivated themselves or anything? Well, we'll see. You know, we've been pretty good at bouncing back this year. Like I said, it's been a roller coaster ride. It's been a, you know, felt like a really good game and then maybe not so good, then up and down. Yeah. So we have the ability to bounce. Uh, obviously, we've shown it. So um, I'm hoping we can do it this week. All right. So you've been coaching for a while. The great seasons like last year where, I mean, you're one of two teams fighting for the state right. championship. Uh, and then you got a year like this year where it's a lot tougher. Do you get a whole lot of advice throughout the season? <laughs> I mean, you're probably one of the most well-known guys in town, right? So people see you here or there, are they stopping and saying, hey, why don't we do this? Or well, why don't we do that? I, like I've told the story I learned early in my career. Well, <laughs> it was later in my career because I was assistant coach for a long time for my mm -hmm. father. Um, and, and Branson, Missouri as well. I was before that. So, uh, you know, I served as an assistant and earned my wings uh, at the junior high level and then moved up, moved up, moved up. And, and uh, so being a longtime assistant and watching my dad helps, you know. And then uh, my first year, I tell the story, we started out two and five of all things. And, uh, you know, I'm getting all kind of stuff down at Walmart. You know, what's your dad say? Finally, I said, hey, he's never been two and five in his life. So he's got no advice for me. <laughs> and we rallied that year, went on, and won the district title, and all the state quarterfinals. But uh, I learned early that you know, yeah, you're going to get some advice. That's just part of the job, yeah. and so you got to take it with a grain of salt. Absolutely. So, well, that's a perfect reference to this year. I mean, it struggled, uh, got hot during the right. playoffs. That's kind of what you're hoping for this year, and it certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. Oh, absolutely. I still believe 100%. You know, I believe in our guys and and our chances to, to go. Uh, uh, obviously, we got to play better, you know, on the field, but. Uh, I think we can do that. We've proven that we can, you know, at, at times play, play pretty good football. So, um, you know, hopefully we can uh, get that across and get a good game plan going and, uh, and you know, go to Jeff City and, and, like you said, get hot. Yeah. So where does this one stack up as far as rough seasons go for you? Um, you know, I, unfortunately, I've been on the very good end of, uh, of football my whole life. Football, as they say, has been very good to me. Um, so. I can't ever say a season's rough. You know, you play it the best you can. Uh, you, you try to do the best you can for your players. Uh, yeah. Each kid gives all they got. So, I, you know, I got a special place in my heart for all our teams we've had here, all the, all the guys I've coached and coached with and for and everything else. So, you know, it, it's uh, you got to keep it in perspective. Um, 
you know, it's a, it's, it's more than winning football games, obviously. Mm, uh, especially I mean, at this level. It is, uh, but it's, that's very important. I mean, that's, you know, that's up there, yeah. but, uh, you know, you want to do the best you can to try to, um, just, you know, keep the kids going and keep them rolling. So we will, we will do that and, and fight it to the end. And, and, you know, it, it is what it is. So however it turns out, so it'll come up the next day, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you go on from there. When we talked about it a few weeks ago, I mean, Coaching high school is so much more than wins and losses. I, that is important, no doubt about it. But you're teaching these kids life lessons. I mean, every one of these kids for the rest of their lives will remember things they learned about getting through tough times in their life this year. Well, and I'm, like I said, I'm not going to complain. This is a special place to play football. It's been awesome uh, for our kids. You know, our, our, their parents, our community support them 100%. I mean, you know, we've got fireworks after every ball game. That's totally community donated money, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that have, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and complain. It's been a good a good run for us, you know, every time. And, and uh, we're just gonna try to play better on the field. And like you said, learn some of those life lessons again. So we've got playoff action Friday night. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. Talk about the matchup we've got this week and uh, see what we might have in store for the playoffs when we continue on the COMC Camdenton Lakers Coaches Show. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Polylift Boat Lifts. Boaters everywhere have relied on Polylift Boat Lifts to raise their boat up and out of the water time and time again. Polylift Boat Lifts are made of the finest materials and offer a lifetime warranty on the tanks. Stop by Polylift and see the huge selection of wet steps, water toys, and dock accessories. You can even shop online at polylift.com. Polylift Boat Lifts. You know what they say. We got time for build boat lifts. We build Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. And we're back on the COMC Camdenton Lakers Coaches Show with the big guy head coach Jeff Shore. So now it's into the playoffs. District play, which is completely different from conference play. One conference foe in the district this year, and that would be Rolla. Uh, so the number one seed going in is Washington. Number two seed is uh, Battle. Right. And they both have first week buys. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have Jeff City mm -hmm. the first week. You've got the Jays. What do you know about the Jays? Well, you know, the first time we've ever played them in our history. Really? Yeah. This is it. Of course, they are, uh, you know, historically one of the uh, the best uh, programs in the whole state. Uh, you know, the Pete Atkins era, Ron Cole, um, that crew really, uh, you know, it was an unbelievable run for them. They were the biggest school in the state, I believe, at that time. And, you know, we're a complete powerhouse, you know, ranked nationally every year, those kind of things. So, um, you know, that's what I know about them. You know, that's my right. memories. Uh, you know, our kids have never played them. So, um, you know, other than some junior high football, Lewis and Clark and, and the other, uh, uh, elementary or a, a junior high they have there so uh, our kids have seen them but to them it, you know I, they're they've never played Jeff City so uh, what I know about them like I said it traditionally is you know a fantastic football program um, you know they're three and six, six this I believe year. yeah um, so they've struggled a little bit but they played really hard competition yeah, yeah. Um, that's the thing you can't dismiss so and we've struggled this year too so uh, it, they're going to be hard to stop. They do a lot of different things on offense. They've got Coach Bailey, the, the previous coach from Lamar, Missouri, uh, that won uh, six state championships in a row. Wow. Um, you know, obviously a very good football coach. Yep. It's his first year there. Um, so they run a, a unique offense, one we've never defensed before. So I'm concerned with that. There's a lot of stuff to prepare for. So, and, you know, weather this week is going to be tough to get outside. So we're probably in the gym some. 
Um, so, you know, there's some, some things stacked against us on that, but we're going to have to try to overcome them. Um, on the defensive end, uh, I think they're going to stay in what I would call like a 4-2 defense uh, and, and defend us that way. So, you know, there's some things we're going to have to take advantage of. And if they come up and, and press us in tight coverage, we're going to have to, you know, try to get the ball deep on them. So um, that's the initial on them. We watched a ton of film. Um, and like I said, there, there are a lot to prepare for. Yeah, uh, and we mentioned they may have a three and six record, but they've lost to some really good teams. Elias, Battle, Rockbridge, Hannibal, Holt, all have winning records. Absolutely. Uh, and that was, uh, those were some of the teams that they lost to. You say they have a little different offense. What do they like to do? And we call it the spinner, kind of a wing tee version. Um, a lot of misdirection. Guys going at a lot of different places. Uh, so you can't get to, uh, you know, you can't trust your eyes a lot of times. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of trust your read keys, whether it be guards or, or fullback taking you to the football. So uh, that's going to be something we're going to focus on this week. Uh, if you go chasing, you know, all the fakes, you're going to be, you know, you're in trouble. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, like I say, you can't trust your eyes on you got to trust your read keys. And so uh, and doing that's going to be, a, so we haven't faced uh, that offense yet this year so uh, that might be a, a problem okay so on your side of the district bracket of course you and jeff city uh, and then the winner of that game will move on to play the number one overall seed washington the okay. next week so that's uh and then on the other side of the uh, bracket you've got rolla and cap city yep. so and they're whoever wins that game this week will move on to play battle right so it you know it's a actually a not a bad side to be on you know yeah. i prefer winning last friday but <laughs> yeah. um you know if you look at uh battle in washington ended up with the number one seed but i don't think they played a tough schedule yep um obviously they're a good football team they're winning a lot of games um but but i think if you compared their you know deal they're, they're probably not as good so if we could you know get something put together here and and go down jeff city and win you know then i think the next game would probably be a uh uh a more favorable game, winnable game for yeah. us than maybe playing battle right off the bat. And then, of course, battle and Rolla have to play each other. Yeah. You know, and Rolla's a, I think Rolla's a very good football team. They missed a couple of games due to COVID, but um, actually, I think they're a lot better team. We hadn't seen much of them. They've missed a couple of games. I think they're probably a little better football team than I even thought, you know, after playing them on Friday. So, um, you know, if we were fortunate enough to, like you said, get hot and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and get some things going, then it could be Raleigh again. You never know. So, um, anyway, it's you know it's we've got all all we can do against Jeff City on Friday. So uh, you know we're focusing on that. But but you know if you look ahead, if it's uh, it's probably the the better the better route. Yeah. Is this the funnest time of the year for you heading into the playoffs, or is it you know the excitement of the early part of the season? What what do you love the most? When's the best time? Yeah, th this is this for is, sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it is by far the best time. You know, I go back to memories of, you know, when I was five or six years old watching us play against Neosho in, the, in the, the playoffs here, you know, one of the first home playoff games we've had um, ever and feeling like there's 10,000 people in the stands. Yeah. There's only maybe 1,200, <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, when you're six years old and watching, you yeah. know, that. Uh, so for me, it's, you know, it even goes deeper than that. It's just a great time of year. So, um, like I said, I'm hoping, you know, they haven't seen our offense and, and uh, we've played well at times, so I'm hoping we can uh, get it going and, and uh, you know, like you said, get hot. Yeah, well, win or lose, we look forward to sitting down with you again next week here on the COMC Camden and Lakers Coaches Show. Coach, thank you so much, and good luck Friday night. Hey, I really appreciate it. I've, been, I've enjoyed doing this and getting to meet you guys, and uh, it's been good for our program. Thank and you. Thank you. And that is your COMC Camden and Lakers Coaches Show with the big guy, head coach Jeff Shore, brought to you by Central Ozarks Medical Center, Hy-Vee, Lake of the Ozarks and Osage Beach, and Polylift Boat Lifts.